Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel Design with Pramod. In today's session, let's try to learn auto layout in Figma. Whenever you try to apply auto layout in any of your components or any of your frames, these are the different properties you will get there. All right. And that could be your resizing where you will have the width and height configurations. And this is newly added features from the Figma. All right. And I'll show you guys this one in some time, how I will apply those things there in our different frames. All right. And this is like an alignment section where you can configure them. All the different properties I'll be showing whenever I try to work with an example. And you might have seen whenever you try to play with width and height these configurations will come and in one case you will get these two properties only and in another case you will get these three different properties where you can apply fixed width hug content and fill container and these are common for child and parent objects all right let's imagine you have two objects one is like a parent object and other could be your child all right and these two properties work for parent components fix width and hug content and this can also be applied to child also when it comes to the child right only fill container will be applicable i'll explain you guys how this fill container will be only applicable for the child whenever i try to work with an example like i said there are three important properties you have to understand clearly whenever you try to apply auto layout to any objects all right so what are those so when i click on this child right whenever you try to apply width properties right you will get these uh, main properties fix width or height or hug content and fill container and in the new ui this is the icon where you will understand this is the auto layout enable frame in this case we'll try to understand fixed width and fixed height and let's try to play with this uh, child object and this is child one so what i'll do here uh, to make it um, if we make it as a fixed width and if you see that right that doesn't change its properties and this is like a fill container now and if i make it to fill container so you see that right that is actually responding equal to this uh, object two and because this is a auto layout enable frame in the similar way and let's go to this one and try to apply fixed height so that means height wise if i go here and change its property right and you see that those heights are not changing and if i change this to fill container you see that height is filling to this parent container now let's try to understand how this hug contents will work in this case what i have this is my parent object and these two are my child objects if i change its width this way you will see that right and if i go back and change it to hug content that will be hugging and if i change its width to fixed width right instead of hug content you will see that if i change it you see that right the space is increasing because that is not hug content enabled object so if i click back this one again and if i apply hug content you will see that right that is actually hugging your child objects whenever i try to vertically extend this object parent object then i click this back again and if i click on that vertical resizing to hug content you see that right it is actually responding back and fitting and hugging within that instance only now let's try to understand fill container how this will work as of now these are like fill container let me change back to that one to that is actually responding because this is a fill container and if i change this back to fill container again it will equally adjust its sizes right now if you see right this is like hug container and if i go back and change its height right it is like non-fill container now if i go here like i said you have to remember one thing that is very important the fill container will only work for child objects so let's go here and change this to fill container you see only this is going back and filling that container in the same way 
will apply to this child too and we'll try to apply this to fill container and you see that is actually filling and if I go back and shrink this down right depends on whatever size you resize to and that will fill out this way and that will fill out this way and these are very important properties guys to understand and work with your auto layout now let's try to create this example this is like auto layout enabled card you see that right it is neatly working and it is responding the way we want all right before going there i have created this youtube uh, video for you guys and this is available in two languages hindi and english let's start creating that sample card whatever we saw just now and i have my content ready all right where i have this is my thumbnail and this is my channel name this is a dummy email again and this is also a dummy text here and we have two buttons ready and we have one logo ready now let's try to apply auto layout on these all objects all right and these are two auto layout enable button for us let's fix them out and let me align them horizontally this way and let me try to apply auto layout on those two buttons one single layout will be there and that is our buttons now these are horizontally aligned if i want to align them vertically i can click this one you see that is actually behaving vertical alignment and let me go back to the horizontal way as is and let's go and apply auto layout to this text too and i'll apply this one you see there is by default some padding coming in 10 pixel let's make that to zero pixel all right and let's let's group these uh, together and apply the auto layout on them too and this is my main heading and this is my logo and uh, let's apply the auto layout to that too and this is my logo and let's go here and group them together let's align them horizontally let's apply auto layout and let's reduce this size to around 20 pixel and those are looking good now name this one to logo with main heading and now we have our this main heading ready and let's align them and let's apply and this is our right side section let's align together this way and let's select all those three main sections now and let's try to apply a tool layout on all those three content and you see that right that is actually applied on three objects this is our first object and this is second object and this is our grouped third object let's try to reduce their vertical spacing let's go around to 24 pixel here we have this object right and let's reduce its horizontal spacing to 24 pixel to make it balanced looking ui and let's apply auto layout to this object too by clicking on shift a from my keyboard i am applying auto layout let's go and reduce its padding to zero pixel both side yeah now we have this as a thumbnail let's align them horizontally this way and let's go and apply auto layout on these two objects and now we have our parent object ready that is card let's go and apply our all the auto layout properties what we have understood so far let's go and add some padding to 20 pixel bottom and top and 20 pixel left and right and let's fill this with some color and have some border radius to 10 pixels and maybe let's increase our padding to 40 pixel 42 bottom top and 42 left and right aligned and now it is almost looking same like our main card whatever we saw in our example now if i drag this one you see that is not working at all so now let's try to apply 
a tool layout on all the different properties and these are our child objects of this parent object and this is also one of the child of this parent card and what we'll do we'll try to apply auto layout properties to these contexts so for this one we'll apply to fill container width wise you see that right that is actually coming till the end and for this one also we have to apply to fill container and for this one too we'll apply to fill container now if I go here and change its property to fill container you see that right it is responding the way we want and now you see right now it is cutting right so I'll fix that too now fix that with some fixed width all right and here you see right these are two important properties again add minimum width and add maximum width let's try to fix uh, the width of this content right side content so by that way what it does it actually wraps the content vertically so what we'll do we'll try to check this object's width and apply the same width uh, as a fixed one for this object this is uh, our 632 pixel width the same way what i'll do i'll go here and add minimum width to 632 you see that is actually equal to this width and what it does if i shrink this card down it is not hiding any of the context you see that right red color border coming in and that is actually showing you this is your minimum width what you have set so after that you have to apply that so now what it is doing it is actually not going down so what we have to do we have to wrap that content what it does after going to the minimum width it is actually going to the next line so that is the wrap content guys all right and you see that it is actually minimum width set isn't this easy guys working with an auto layout and that is all about auto layout guys hope you enjoyed the video and learned something great today if you do please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching and staying till the end see you